Hello everyone, this is Sir Mon, and today I'm going to teach you on how to create your green foot scenario. When you're creating a green foot scenario, of course, you should have green foot installed in your computer. Now, in the assumption that you have already installed it, let's begin. So by uh, creating first a uh, storage folder in, the, in your workstation, access file explorer, and I want you to create a folder inside the documents folder. Select home, new folder, and then type your section name. Preferably, I want it to be in this format. So let's say you are 10 Bonifacio. So type it this way. All right, so now that you have created your folder, this will be your storage folder of all your projects in ICT or Greenfoot projects. So let's minimize this. We'll uh, return to uh, this uh, screen later. But for now, we're now ready to create our first Greenfoot scenario. Let's open Greenfoot from the desktop icon. Double click. As you can see, it's Greenfoot 3.1, the current version of Greenfoot. And now it should open a uh, the window for Greenfoot. Now let's say you have opened Greenfoot from uh, Computer Lab B or Computer Lab A. Uh, most likely you will see already a certain file or a certain scenario already loaded with Greenfoot. So as much as possible, not to modify it because chances are that is not your own scenario. So, of course, to avoid that, let's immediately head to the Scenario menu, select Scenario, and, of course, select New Java Scenario. If you notice, there's another option, Stride, but that's a different language. So, always select New Java Scenario. Alright, so, in my case, the directory of 10 Bonifacio already appeared here. But let's just say that it didn't appear immediately, let's say, it is in the desktop, of course. I want you to find your storage folder. So head to Documents, find 10 Bonifacio. If you name it properly, you'll find it as easily as possible. So double click. So apparently it's empty because you haven't placed anything yet. Be careful not to select Create yet until you type the folder name. The folder name also stands for the Greenfoot scenario name. So that will be the name of your scenario. So for our first scenario, I want you to type trick. So now that you have typed it correctly, just like this, select create. Now wait for a while. Sometimes it will take some time to, to really load it. But for now, it uh, already opened. So as you can see, if you have correctly uh, created it, you'd find that the title bar says Greenfoot and then of course the name of your scenario which is Trick and uh, so far since we haven't created anything yet you'll see only three boxes these boxes in the right side of the window represents your Java classes so uh, let's uh, maximize this first and now you can see the whole thing now we'll have the in the middle, you'll find that there's a white uh, background here. That is our uh, My World app object. And so far, we haven't placed anything in this world. In the Greenfoot interface, you'll find other buttons like App, Run, Reset, and the Speed Slider to adjust the speed later. And you have the four menus here. Let's create our first class that will make as a subclass of the actor. So to do that, let's right click actor from this area. So right click that box, right click, and then select new subclass. After selecting new subclass, this dialog box will appear and then prompting you to type the class name for, uh, for, uh, for this scenario. Now for a class name, Remember that there's a rule that you have to capitalize the first letter of uh, the class name. If you have two or more words as the class name, you begin 
the first letter of each word with the capital letter. Alright? And then let's head to, of course, this part here and let's name it turtle. Now, in your case, name, just name it turtle. But in my, in my uh, example, I'll just have to misspell this deliberately because I want to show you how to correct this spelling later. So now, let's say you type the correct one, turtle, but in my case, it spells as turtle. Now, under Greenfoot, you can actually uh, use its built-in images, like here in this case, turtle.2, turtle2.png, or you can import your own image from import file, from file, from the gear icon. So select OK when you're done selecting your image. Now, if you notice after clicking OK, my new class has appeared already as a new box here in this class diagram. Notice there is also an arrow connecting to the actor. And what does it mean by that? It means that this class turtle is related to the actor. Okay, so meaning this is the subclass of the actor. Okay, and also vice versa. Actor is the super class of the Torto. Okay, and same for the My World. My World is a subclass of World. World is the super class or the main class of My World. Now let's proceed with accessing the uh, um, correcting this one because I want to correct this already. I spelled it incorrectly, so I'll just right click. Open editor or as a shortcut, double click. Now it should open your class uh, editor. So in this case, it's a typical text editor built in with Greenfoot. So where should we edit the uh, misspelled class name? If you notice this line here, oh, by the way, I have to activate the line numbers to know the which line was it so to do that i can uh, do some um, adjustment here like options preferences and then in that area you'll uh, select display line numbers and okay so if you notice there is now a uh, numbers in the side or left side of the text editor so now we are to correct the spelling of the turtle and uh, by the way this line here or line 9 specifically is what we call a class signature so just like any signature it serves as a label so this one it tells a computer what this uh, text is for specifically this is a class which has the name turtle in it but of course this is not turtle but turtle yeah Okay, so now we have corrected the spelling of the turtle and uh, of course there are still remnants of the wrong uh, or the misspelling of the turtle so to correct that as quickly as possible you can just select uh, tools replace or simply the shortcut control R in this area you'll see that uh, you're prompted to type uh, what to find what to correct so I'll type the wrong spelling Apparently, found two instances of turtle, so you have to correct it with turtle. So T U R T L E. Okay, so you can select to correct it one by one by selecting once. But of course, in our case, I want to save time and select all instead. And if you notice, all these spelling have been corrected. And uh, this feature here is already existing long. A long time ago so even our all text editors even Microsoft Word has this feature instead anyway so I'll stop here okay so I will not place any code yet and let me just show you how to add your turtle in the world so you don't drag the turtle to appear here just uh, select or right click the class that you want to uh, create an object from so right click turtle and then find this option usually uh, it uh, it appears at the top part of the menu so new turtle or whatever the class name so in this case the turtle class so new turtle and now if you notice your uh, you, uh, your hand 
icon or in the mouse icon can actually place your cursor or your turtle anywhere in the world so you can place it here and that's it so that's how you create your uh, class your scenario your class and an object so objects um, can be created from a class so just uh, go back here if you want to or a shortcut would be new turtle and then holding shift so it works like uh, stamping your turtle or any uh, object that you want and that's it that's how you create your green foot scenario so in the next lesson I'll talk about how to add some moves how to add some methods in your class editor so if I run this program of course nothing will happen okay until next time goodbye